In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a quiz using drag and drop into text type questions in eLearning or Moodle. So basically, you have a bunch of questions with blank areas where the student can drag and drop the right answer from a list of provided options. So let's get started. So basically, we'll need to go here to the course first, and we go to a specific week, and now we are going to first create the quiz. Click on Add here for the quiz give a name to the quiz, a description, fill out also any of these other options as to when to open the quiz, when to close it, how long the students have to take the quiz and so on. Then under the grade you might want to post the category where the grade should show up. Then as far as the question layout you can have one question per page or more than one question per page and so on. And then if you want to shuffle within the questions you can do that from here as well. Then deferred feedback, that means that the students will get a feedback as to what they got right or wrong at the very end after they complete the quiz. This is where you can specify when the students, uh, whether they can see the proper answers or not, whether uh, right after the attempt or later after the quiz is closed. So this is pretty much if you want to guard the answers to your quizzes. All of these so far are just general for any quiz in Moodle. So now at this point we click here on the very bottom and we choose save and return to the course or we could click on save and display. For now I'll just choose save and return to the course so that we see the item has been created. So far we just have created the shell for this quiz so now we click on the quiz again and now here on the right hand side we click on edit quiz. Now on edit quiz this is an option for us to add questions to this quiz. So now we can click here under add and then choose a new question. And this is where this tutorial basically starts with what I was trying to demonstrate is that we want to create a quiz with questions from drag and drop into text. So notice it's going to be missing words in the questions and those questions are going to be filled with the proper answers by the student dragging and dropping in there. Now we click on add here and in this case I'm going to create just one question. So you can give here the question name. This is just for you to identify this question. So you could say question one. And then here under the question text, this is what the student will see. So this can be separate questions in there or separate areas, or it could be one sentence with multiple missing uh, spots in there. And now wherever you want the student to fill in the blank here, what you need to do is you need to put these double bracket like that, the square ones, then one, that would mean uh, this is blank number one, and then double bracket again. So a computer is, the answer would be there, an electronic device which accepts input. So we want to have that as option number two with double brackets. Again, we put number two, accepts input. And we could say it processes data. And in this case, I'm basically giving them a tip here. I'm leaving the store's data already as part of the sentence there. But basically, as you can understand so far, any of those options, we want them in double brackets. And then uh, one, two, three, those would be the actual answers. Now here under the default mark, you can leave it as one in this case, or since we have four of those, maybe we could make it four points, but you'll have a chance to change those points as well in the next screen here. Now under uh, general feedback, you can specify here uh, whether they got it right or wrong, what kind of feedback you want to give to them. Now in here, the next thing that you want to do is this is where you put the right answers for these missing the fill in the blanks here. So now we choose shuffle. We want to shuffle those um, answers. And the first choice here would be a computer is an electronic device. So here we put electronic. And then option two, it would be which accepts input. And then option three would be processes data. And then stores the data and then produces output. So basically, if you have more than, than four areas, you just keep on adding other sentences. Those you could make them separate or you could have them all uh, sequential like a story. Now these options here uh, add to group one. What these are basically, typically you want to leave those all in group one. It's just saying it's going to list them all one after the other, just like we listed them here. Now, if you have cases where some of them would be nouns and the other ones would be pronouns and you want them in two, two separate sections separated from each other, then you'd say, okay, well, this one I want it in group two and then 
this one I want it in group two. So it's going to just bundle them together when the student sees the options. In our case, for most of the cases, you're going to just have them listed randomly there for the students to view them, no specific grouping. Unlimited, that means that uh, do you want to allow the use of one of those options to be used more than one time as the student enters the answers here. And then basically you can add more choices if you need it uh, here. Combined feedback if you wanted to provide uh, specific feedback when it's partially correct and so on. You can uh, try that for yourself. Under multiple tries, we're not going to go into that for now, but uh, if, they ch if you give them multiple tries, how much the penalty would be and so on. Now you click on uh, Save Changes. And at this point, notice it's, it's marking it against four points for that question. And if you want it more than that, so let's say the quiz is um, 100 points, and then you have only one question for this quiz, then you can change the number of points right here. So you could make that to 100, or if you had five questions, each of them would be up to 20 points for each question. So it depends on how your quiz is going to be organized. Now to preview this, you can simply either click on the question to actually preview it, or you can preview the whole quiz. Now to preview this quiz, let's assume it's ready for the students. We're going to have only one question. Now notice this is how it will look. Uh, basically, the student will take here a computer is, take electronic, drag it over here, which accepts input, drag it over here, processes data, and the highlighting here is happening because of my mouse. Now the student basically matches these up and then click on next. In this case, I have only one question to the quiz. I click on submit and finish, and I should have scored 100 points in this case. And the student can review it, and that's it. Now, in some cases, what you might want to do is uh, you might want to give the students more choices than there are actual options here. So if I wanted to edit this question, I can go here under this little gear right here in front of the question, and I can scroll down here and add additional options. Basically, you're just trying to confuse them with more options and there would be answers for them. Then click on Save, and that's how basically you can create quiz using drag and drop fill-in questions. Hopefully that is helpful and uh, feel free to check out the other tutorials on e-learning or on the YouTube channel. Thank you.